passion. Control. Strength. Dedication. These are what make Jessica Gill an exceptional athlete. Judging panel for every gymnast, she set the benchmark. Jessica Gil Ortez from Colombia, 19 years old, second world championships. She also has some huge tumbling. Look at this double straight somersault to within a centimeter of the edge of the floor. What would you do if you knew you could not fail? I started when I was two. Two? Because my mom had her gym mm -hmm. um, down in Lake Hialeah and with my dad. And um, we, I started there. My mom didn't even want me to do gymnastics. Like for my mom, she did gymnastics. She did a double back and landed like on her back and neck. Mm. Broke her back and she had to stop. Eh, pues, yo me siento muy contenta de ver que la niña, después de iniciar este deporte como un juego, Eh, pudo, a, pudo ella misma hacer sus propias metas y haber llegado a donde ella se propuso llegar. My sister, the, the skill that she did, there's been a couple gymnasts that have done it and fell and have been you know, paralyzed or they have to retire. And the impact in, is more frustration than it was anything else. The frustration of not being able to finish the routine and knowing that I was top eight in the world. I was worried first. And then once we knew that everything was fine, then, you know, as long as she's all right. Before the Olympics, she had her, one of her ligaments, not rip or tear, but it was like, I think it was torn. I'm not sure if it was torn or if it was extended. She competed like that. Obviously, she couldn't compete to her full extent which basically what I believe is what brought her down. She couldn't show everything she had, but she still went out there and gave it her all. This competition was very different because I had trained for it. Like it was literally months of eating, sleeping, gymnastics and training. And it was watching the best gymnasts in the world do their competition and studying and doing all that stuff that when I got there it was just like to have fun. It's a big competition, it's world championships and it's millions of people. When I got out there I was normal, I was ready to do it because I had trained so hard that all the elements were coming out just how I had practiced. and. When I was about to go, I had done the, the first tumbling pass and I did double layout and I literally stuck it in the corner that I was about to like get off the floor. And I knew exactly where the, the line was, everything. And I went to go and I felt my hand slip. When my hand slipped, I was like, okay, I got an arch. My foot slipped and I was like, okay. I jumped because once you go, you go. And when I was in the air, I did not follow my back. <laughs> I fell on my head. But it was, it was at the moment, like, I felt like I got hit by a car. The floor. Oh, dear. Well, no. we'll get the coach. Wait, should we go to the hospital and we see if everything's okay? Because I, f like, it wasn't that I fell and I didn't feel my legs or I didn't feel my arms. It was just the fall. She kept on training, therapy, training, therapy. She went and competed. I mean, she competed, I think before that, she competed a couple competitions with the bad knee. 
And she's still qualified and made it. She's a trooper, trooper. If I had to work my whole entire life to go to the Olympics, I was going to do it. Que lo que tenía que hacer yo era el papel de mamá, de ir a acompañar moralmente a mi hija. Y eh, de verdad fue una experiencia tristísima para mí de decirte que no, 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 no encontré nada. Yo, yo para mí era verle la tristeza a mi hija, la depresión con la que ella estaba entrando y me decía no lo voy a lograr, estoy, no estoy haciendo, no voy a poder hacerlo y saber que dos días antes el Comité Olímpico me dijo Jessica no va a poder competir. I, I hugged my parents and I was, I bursted out crying because that was, I had done good for what I was doing literally a month before my coach had to spot me on a simple exercise. What I went out to do, I, I did it with like pride, but when I finished, I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do in the Olympics, what I had in my head. Three years back or four years back, I was best in the world when then I was just another gymnast. After my surgery, I had taken time off and I didn't, I was in, I, am I gonna go back? If not, like I would go back to the gym and it's like I've never even left. Now I'm training again to, to go and do what I wanted to do in the first Olympics.